In previous module, uh, we uh, have introduced a group action on a set X. और वहाँ पर हमने देखा था कि जो symmetric group है, वो एक example है group action की. तो यहाँ पे हम continue करेंगे उसको. Condition two of that definition is the consequence of the definition of permutation multiplication as function composition. तो वहाँ पर हमने देखा था कि g1 g2 x equal to g1 within bracket g2 x. तो permutation multiplication में जो composition है, उसको condition two represent कर रही है. Condition one is immediate from the definition of identity permutation that is e x equal to x as the identity function. Note that in particular one, two, three and so on n is an S n set. तो ये जो अगर x capital X हमारे पास one, two, three up to so on n के equal है तो ये हमारे पास S n set कलाएगा. Now we shall consider an interesting theorem and uh, our theorem will show that for every G set X and each G belonging to capital G, the map Sigma G X to X. Sigma G हमारे पास जो map है वो permutation है क्योंकि uh, same uh, it is bijective from X on to X defined by sigma g equal to g x is a permutation of x and that there is a homomorphism phi from g to s x symmetric group of capital x such that the action of g on x is essentially the above example action of the image subgroup H equal to phi G of S X on X. Now we state the theorem. Let's state the theorem. Let X be a G set for each G belonging to capital G. G is a group. The function sigma g from x to x defined by sigma g x equal to g x for x belonging to x is a permutation of x. Also the map phi from g to s x defined by phi g equal to sigma g is a homomorphism with the property phi g x equal to g x. Let's prove the theorem. First we shall prove that uh, sigma g is the permutation of x. To show that sigma g is a permutation of x, we must show that it is one to one map of x on to itself. That is we want to show it is sigma g is bijective. Suppose that sigma g x1 equal to sigma g x2. Jaisa ke aapko maloom hai one to one condition ko satisfy karne ke liye by definition hum images ko equal lete hai. And we want to prove that elements are also equal. That is x1 is equal to x2. We intend to prove this. For x1, x2 belonging to x, then g x1 equal to g x2, we just apply the definition of sigma g on both sides. Consequently, g inverse g x1 equal to g inverse g x2, we apply g inverse on both sides. Because we know that G is the element of the group G and its inverse also in G and we can apply on both sides uh, G inverse. We can multiply on both sides by G inverse. Or now we are using condition 2 of our definition of group action on a set. 
and we shall obtain g inverse g x1 equal to g inverse g x2 and g inverse g is the identity element therefore e x1 equal to e x2 so condition one of the definition of group action is given us x1 equal to x2 because we know that by condition 1 e x1 equal to x1 so sigma g is 1 to 1 the two conditions of the definition show that for x belonging to capital x we have sigma g g inverse x equal to g g inverse x we uh, want to prove now the on to uh, sigma g is on to so we take the image of g inverse x under sigma g and we have applied the definition of sigma g which is uh, which gave us g g inverse x and by using the first property of uh, uh, the definition of group action uh, we shall obtain g g inverse x and uh, uh, by using the second property of uh, the definition of group action and uh, uh, it is equal to e x by inverse law and uh, by using the first condition of the definition of group action we shall obtain e x equal to x so the uh, pre image of every element exists in g the pre image of x is g inverse x so sigma g is on 2 thus sigma g is a permutation